All right, guys, welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey, and in our previous tutorial, we had created a sample form to pass the value to our controller called as book controller. Now, inside the book controller, we had a method called which returns the action result called as set book details, which contain the set of four parameter as book number, name, price, author, and blah blah blah. So, this is a very long process. And what if if I want to minimize these sort of five to six line into just one single line, or I will say, let me just get rid of the parameters and use the object instead of parameter. So it is very possible because uh, what I did here, I use the strongly typed name. What I mean by strongly typed, the name which are specified into the input type text or the input field are similar to the object. Or the model class object attribute field called as book number, book number, name, author, price. So let's just use this object. And uh, to use this object, I just need to get rid of this parameter. And let me just get rid of all the lines that I have written here. Now it's very simple to use this uh, object. So all we need to do is just type books and type book object that's it so this will work fine as in our previous tutorial we have used we have minimized the number of line we had used an object instead of parameter so this will work fine so let me just run our application and see what happened and I, by the way i haven't removed this breakpoint yet to see what's happening behind the scene so just let me just open the get book details and uh, okay so now filling out the value called as 7 book name is mvc book author is aditya dubey book price is 200 now i'm going to click on the save book and as soon as i click on the save book you will eventually see this uh, breakpoint hit it successfully now big book object which we created called as bobj is initialized with the set of values called as book author name number and price as we supplied into our uh, uh, what we call as uh, form so we can return this simple object into our view to see the value which is being assigned by us so let me just continue and you will see the book page is redirected to set book details and all the values which i uh, mentioned in my form fields are redirected to the simple field so as simple as that it is very easy to use that now the point we will notice that in the book class we had also created a date time variable which will hold the date time value so and by the way we haven't created the date time uh, attribute inside this html form so what if if i want the current date time to automatically get inserted along with the book object so it is very easy to do so all we need to do is just first stop the application since we are going to make change in our controller so as we know that our book object b obj contain the date time so to initialize with the current date time c sharp provide a very rich library or the uh, very uh, rich class called is date time and we can use the now attribute so this will eventually initialize the current date time value to our date object and we can similarly return out these value so so let me just open this set book details and uh, inside that i uh, let me just create another s3 tag and i'm going to write date time so instead of price i'm going to write date time as simple as that so let me just run this application and uh, open this get book details sorry get book details now let us just fill out the value call as book number is 3 book name book uh, book number is 10 book author is aditya dubey book price is 399.49 and click on save book and let me just continue since i want to get rid of breakpoint and as you can see book detail page listed successfully but the point you note here is that date time 
get automatically initialized to the current date time value so this is the way by which how we can initialize the current date time as well as we can minimize the number of line code and get rid of the controller uh, parameterized value and instead of that we can just use the object value so that's how you can minimize your code and uh, i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions or doubt please let me ask in the youtube comment sections your suggestions are always welcome until then enjoy life bye bye